Hello guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you Shopify contact form tutorial. So if you're interested, let's start our tutorial. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to go to our account or in our admin page in Shopify. So go to Shopify.com, log in and go to your admin page. Now from here, typically when you have a store or you've successfully created your store, typically the contact page would be automatically created. Now first we need to check if it's actually created and it's just hidden. So you could go ahead and go to online store here and from here go to pages. And typically in the pages section here, you should be able to see a section that says contact. Now the contact page there, you'll be able to edit it via your website editor. Now, another way for you to check that, you can also go to navigation and go to main menu title navigation here and you'll be able to see a contact us link. But if this is the case for you, like for example, you've accidentally deleted your page or the contact us page is definitely not existing in your store. Well, there is actually easier for you to add it, re-add it again. So just to make you uh, just to make an overview, I'm going to show you my store here wherein you should be able to see that the contact us button or the link is not existent, not existing in my shop here. So in here, what we need to do first is we first have to create a page for our contact form. So in this case, let's go to pages here under, under online store. And from here, we want to add our page. So, so at the top right, go ahead and click on add page here. And from here, we want to say maybe contact us. Now from here, you could go ahead and enter uh, some of the details or content of this page here. But for now, we are going to leave this as is. And from here, we could go ahead and click on save at the bottom right. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and add this into our navigation. Again, I'm going to open up this in another tab just to give you an overview. Let's go to navigation here. And from here, go to main menu again. And from here, click on add menu item. Now, from here, we want to say this is contact us. So let me, let me just adjust my uh, setting here, contact us. And from here, just click on the search or paste link. And from here, you should be able to see pages. Go ahead and click on it. From here, click on the contact us page. Now from here, click on the add at the bottom right of your screen. And from here, click on save menu at the bottom right. Now in here, when we reload our shop here, we should be able to see the contest, uh, contact us link here, as you can see now. So let's go ahead and click on contact us and you should be able to see the contact us page. But as you can see right now, we don't see anything that would resemble a contact page here. Well, we first have to edit this and add those form that we need here in this page here. Now in here at the my store, let's go back in here. Let's go to pages again open up the contact us page here and from here you should see an option that says customize template so let's go ahead and click on it and it's going to open up in another tab now from here this is going to be the editor or website editor for our website or for our store so in here it should probably load up so in this case, let's go to the template section here, click on add section. And from here, you could go ahead and manually search for contact form. But in this case, we could use the search section. So let's just type in contact form here. From here, click or select contact form here and it should be automatically added into your page here. Now, in this case, this is going to be default. You won't be able to change anything on the contact form itself. So by default, it's going to ask for your name, your email, your phone number, and the comment itself. Now, there are a few customizations like, for example, the heading size here. If you want to make it large, click large here. You could also change the color scheme, the section padding, so top padding, bottom padding, as well as the theme settings here as and the costume CSS if you want that. Now, in this case, if you're satisfied, click on the save at the top right and that should save your page. Now, as you can see, there's the contact as section here. You can go ahead and just delete this, for example, and uh, in here, it's going to retain the contact as. But for now, let's go ahead and revert that input contact form here. And maybe we want to hide this section here or let me just go let this go back here. 
and here I have hidden the page section here and from here what we need to do is you can go ahead and customize it further like for example if you want to add a section here for uh, featured collections or even text simple text describing uh, that the their feedback or any of their comments is needed or is very important to you you can go ahead and do that as you can see talk about your brand in this case you can go ahead and edit the text here for example we want to say your feedback is important now here go ahead and change anything here and if you want to position it you could go ahead and press and hold on the dotted icons here and make it at the top of the contact form here and yeah so you could go ahead and customize that click on save at the top right and from here when we go back into our store here let's just go back and go to our main store here and when we reload this one so sometimes uh, your changes will not up, uh, immediately appear on your store you might need to uh, reload it sometimes but in this case let's go ahead and go to contact us and when we go to contact us you should be able to see your contact form here as well as other designs that you would like to include but yeah so that's about it hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to nft inspo thank you for watching